Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the audiologist here at Audiology Associates. We upload new earwax removal videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9 p.m. UK time, so please consider subscribing. Hi everybody, this is Rhys Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you for watching our video today. Uh, the first patient in our compilation has a grommet which has fallen out of the eardrum and got lodged in a piece of um, hard wax and a bit of dried blood as well. So there's the grommet. You can see because there's that white plastic ring there like around the outside edge, you can just see the indentation in the middle. So um, this patient's been coming back and forth to see us for a little while. Uh, grommet, after it was inserted, there was a patch of dried blood that had formed around the grommet and actually covered uh, uh, the central hole as well so the grommet hasn't been working for quite some time but it's, it's you know it's near impossible to actually clean a grommet out unfortunately it would be such delicate work that uh, it's usually easier just to reinsert another one but the patient was hearing really well so decided to carry on as they were uh, so it's come back periodically just for us to keep an eye on it just to make sure that it's uh, it's sitting where it should be so this is the first time we've seen it where it's actually dislodged so just clearing away some of the dry skin around the entrance to the ear canal. This uh, piece of dark material that it's actually wedged in is mostly dry blood. So it's very brittle and very hard. And it's, unfortunately for us, a really angular shape. So it's really difficult to get a grip on with uh, microsuction. And as you'll see a little bit later on, it's also quite hard to use crocodile forceps, although that would be um, your kind of natural tool of choice, really. Um, what you'll see in a second is as you get a grip on it, because it's so brittle uh, and so thin and delicate, as we get a grip on it, you can see it just breaks and just snaps in pieces. So imagine this almost like, um, like a scab that's formed or a pool of dried blood that's got really kind of flaky and uh, just, just not, not a lot of kind of... Uh, rigidity to it. it so it's really kind of it just snaps very very easily so you can see we're taking it away piece by piece now understandably this patient has had quite a few ear issues uh, over the years and is a little bit nervous uh, quite understandably if you've had an operation on your ear it's going to be a little bit sensitive so I'm trying to take it as gently as I possibly can you can see we've still got that grommet uh, embedded there so just Gonna try and grab this front end section again a little bit of pressure try not to put too much pressure on but you can see as we're moving it forwards it just snaps uh, just snaps in place there though it's quite wide and we're trying to fit this out of a narrow part of the canal so it's not the easiest and we've also got the little sill just on the outside part of the ear canal there is so because we're having to work quite far away because this is almost just inside the entrance to the canal uh, you actually see the sill there as well so they get in the view every once in a while just trying to maneuver this now with some suction uh, just so you know we have managed to just put the finishing touches to episode 200 uh, we've been recording some footage as well today for you so uh, that is going to be coming out. It's going to be the next video that comes out. Okay, I'm not sure when we're going to do it yet. We're, we're toying with the idea of what day to release it. Um, we may do one on Sunday. We'll we'll see. We'll we'll have a little look because we want to make it a premiere as well. So we want to make sure as many people can watch it as they possibly can. But I will pop onto the community page when it's coming out. Uh, do pop along and have a look at it. It's well worth a watch. Like I said, it is something a little bit different. Um, so let us know what you think when you do see it. Uh, and let us know if you like it. So we just managed to get this piece out now. It's rolling its way out of the ear canal. There you go. Out he pops. So you can see it's been embedded in some dry skin. This kind of hardened up um, uh, kind of dry blood material. A little bit of dry skin at the entrance to the canal there. So we're just removing that now. And there's another piece of dry skin. You can see the eardrum there now. Just another little bit of dry skin to the to the uh, top portion of the uh, ear canal there. There we are. So there's the eardrum. You can see there's minimal scarring. It's not the flat, smooth, pearlescent surface you normally get. That's the grommet. So I've actually broken it out of that dry blood you can see on the left-hand side. So you can see just how small that is. So that would be inserted in the eardrum, just allowing a bit of air through the drum into the space behind. So this is our second patient in the compilation. It's straightforward wax removal, this one. Uh, as you can see, very blocked up on this ear canal. 
very shiny wet wax you can see a little bit of moisture so this patient has been using some olive oil before they came in um, just to help soften it up a few people asked uh, uh, in the comment section of the last video um, why we specifically use olive oil and why uh, is there a particular type um, we use a surgical grade olive oil which just basically is olive oil that's just been filtered and filtered and filtered down so um, you can get it from chemists and pharmacies there's a, a link in the description below to the um to amazon which shows you so where you can get it from as well um there's an affiliate link in there so if you want to use that you're more than welcome to um you, people do use lots of different types of oils olive oil tends to be the one that's most commonly used though uh, and it has been for quite some time but you know lots of people use different types of oils that, to, to go in there so it's kind of your personal preference obviously not engine oil uh, but you know no one kind of oils so um just managing to remove a lot of this wax it's all coming away now there you go you just start to break it down pull smaller pieces away you can see just chipping away at it uh, section by section luckily it's although it's been oiled it uh, hasn't gone too soft so we've still got this central uh, hard uh, piece of uh, wax there uh, with a soft edge around the outside There we are, just there you go. So we can see there's a little bit there at the entrance, a little bit further in. We'll give it a quick spring clean around the outside edge here. Just take that bit away and work to the next piece. And you can see we've got this piece that's just sitting a little bit further in. It's very soft. So we'll just take that away there. Lovely. And there we are, you can see the eardrum. You can see the actual patches of uh, darker patches on the eardrum is where the, the back end of the wax has actually been touching the drum. Now, patient wanted the other ear cleared. We can see the eardrum on this side. We've got a section of wax sitting on the outer part of the canal. So we're just going to take that away. Um, stay tuned for the third patient, guys. If you love skin peels, definitely stay stay for the third patient. Um, we've got an, it's actually an immense skin peel a bit later on. It's really worth a look. Um, so you can see it's all coming away. Just managing to get this softer wax. Now maneuvering it out towards the uh, the outer part of the ear canal here. It's breaking away a little bit, so not quite as hardened up as the other side. Now we've hit the harder pieces. You can see they're coming away in larger, harder lumps. Wiggle. There we go. There's the wiggle, guys. You know you like it. So there we go. And there's the eardrum. So this is what we removed. You can see quite um, quite a few chunks of, uh, of wax in this patient's ear. All that kind of lovely reddy brown color. Okay, now this lady came through, um, basically her hearing aid had been whistling for a little while and couldn't, she couldn't get the bottom of it and uh, went along to the hearing aid department and they've told her that you know, there, there is, what they said is wax uh, in the ear. Uh, this isn't actually wax, this is a, a ball of dry skin uh, which is layered upon layered upon layered. Um, now, we have done um, videos with, with skin like this in the past, but you can really see the individual layers here. So that the skin uh, in the ear canal grows kind of laterally, so you get this kind of long strips. What's happened here is the skin's actually overproduced and uh, it started to wrap around itself a little bit in the canal wall. So you end up with, um, imagine like an onion peeling layer upon layer upon layer away. That's what's happening here. But those layers then have dried. So you get a very hardened up uh, piece of skin. And in this case, it's quite a large ball of skin in here. So uh, microsuction is, is just not going to hold on to it because you really have to work this out. It's not going to come away easily. Um, but if we leave this in there, it's going to cause, you know, it's going to cause quite a few problems for the patient. So using the crocodile forceps to try and hold on and gently maneuver this out moving up and down back and forth just to try and release it from deeper in the canal patient is absolutely fine with having this done uh, you know we, we we always check in on our patients uh, whilst we're doing the procedures to make sure they're okay uh, lots of pulling and tugging going on in the ear but perfectly happy for us to carry on not in any discomfort so you can see now it's starting to come away you can see the layers developing there we've got the bottom hardened up layer there ah just pop back in um so you can see as this comes away you'll see as this comes out just how big uh this is so you can see the layer upon layer upon layer as it's coming away can you see the layers behind peeling out with it there you go see all those layers in there 
Um, sorry, I said laser lock then. So what you've got here now is the outer section of that piece. You can see how it spirals down the canal. So you can see the full length of the, the growth of the skin there. See it all spiraling down. So it's covering the top of the canal wall there, which is what I'm taking away now. It's also going right the way down, not quite attached to the eardrum though. Uh, you know, it's, it's just sitting in front of the eardrum. You can see all the layer built right the way down. So you can see how this is formed in the ear canal now. So what we're going to need to do is take this away. Now, obviously this is the top layer of skin. Now, if you've ever had a pull of skin next to your nail, you know that when you pull it, sometimes what you'll get is that pull will keep going. Okay, so it may end up just... Um, uh, you may get a little bit of bleeding and I we do get just a tiny patch of redness on this skin as it comes away because of where it's detached from the side of the canal wall. You can see a red lump there. Now, what we have to do now is get a grip on this. Using the crocodile forceps, gently lift and pull. There you go. You can see it starting to unwind, to all peel away, top, bottom, front, back, all coming away nicely. Uh, patient jumped a little bit there, so we're just going to go back in and take another grab on this. There you go, and pull it away. There, and out he comes. So you can see some redness at the bottom of the canal there. It's just where it passed over. Eardrum itself, there you go, all looking good. So this is the skin pull. You can see a little bit, around about the five centimeter mark, you can see a little bit of redness. That's where that little bit of bleeding was in there. But you can see the whole thing has all come out and just how big that was. So I hope you enjoyed it today, guys. Uh, stay tuned for episode 200, which is coming out as our next video. And uh, as always, guys, take care. Thank you very much for watching our video today. If you did enjoy the video, then please like. If you're not subscribed already and you'd like to do so, you can click the subscribe button here. If you'd like to check out some more of our videos, they're also up there. Now, if you want to follow us, you can do on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also check our website if you want to know a little bit more about us. As always, guys, until the next time, take care.